I love Limerick and you're watching ilovelimerick.com. Hi, I'm Sarah Lynch. Welcome to this edition of I Love Limerick. Uh, we're having coffee in the lovely Glass House restaurant with the beautiful Maraid. Hey, Maraid. Hello. How are you, Keith? I'm very well, thank you. Stop trying to It's five years since you've left Limerick and now you're home. Um, what's it like to come home? I mean, it's great. Yeah. It's so great. You know, I have loads of friends still living mm -hmm. here and my family are here. So it's just lovely to, to get home and see everybody. And, you know, it's great to be back in Limerick. I love, you know, driving in from the airport and at night time and the, the lights are on over the bridge. And it's just, it you feels know, like home. Do you notice any the changes or anything standing out for you when you come home that's different since you lived here yourself? Um, well... There's lots still going on, which is brilliant. You know, there's loads of positive things going mm -hmm. on. I Love Limerick are doing amazing stuff of what they're showcasing, the people that they're, you know, interviewing. And there's loads of brilliant, positive things happening in Limerick. Ray, you're for a Limerick-born lady now based in London. So yeah. you made the move there about five years ago. Can you tell us uh, what prompted you to? Yeah, I'm from Kilmallock and I was living in Limerick. Um, and I saw a course in London, which was singing technique and performance. So what would you uh, cite as your influences musically? Or They're so varied, yeah. but um, I suppose for the sound that we do now, you know, I was listening to a lot of like the Scandinavian sounds, mm -hmm. you know, like Ilay and Roy Scott, and then, you know, Yazoo, which would be a, a big influence in a lot of that 80s sound, and Gary Newman listening yeah. to synth stuff. I started writing and, and playing when I was 15 and you know that was on the guitar mm. so it was quite natural just to kind of continue that on but I always had you know a love for dance music mm -hmm. and electro music I just didn't really know how to go about making it I kind of had to put the guitar down and say okay I'm gonna just take some time out you know learn how to use the technology of, you know logic and learn how to write in that way yeah. so I started using more working on beats and working with um, playing on the piano um, and then just started working with other people. You know, the CP that I've brought out is mm -hmm. with um, a duo called Disco Damage. Um, and then I've been writing stuff with um, Mark Video as well. Can you tell us a little bit about making your videos and how you'd approach that process? Well, um, Mark, you know, his CV is, is brilliant. And um, it, was, it was great for me to work with him on the visual mm -hmm. side of things. You know, he's worked with like, he currently works like Roshi Murphy's worked with Yazoo, Kanye West, and, yeah. and loads of great names. Are you gonna save me? So it was brilliant, you know, because we've started working on music together as well. So yeah. he was involved, the track for, for C, he, we worked on that track together. Yeah, and we, the C video just, it came about quite organically, you know, Mark came up with the whole concept of the look of it. been nominated for um, Best Female Video on the Irish Music TV yes. Awards. Yes, congratulations yeah. again. Last year was basically just in the studio mm -hmm. and writing and demoing the stuff and then this year was like showcasing the material mm. seeing what works what doesn't work and you know we'd bring it back to the studio and tweak it a little bit okay this needs a bit more work here yeah. or you know and forming the set as well because you know you can write loads of different songs but do they actually work as a full set yeah. so this is the ep this yes. is the reason that you're home to promote your new album um can you tell us a little a bit about where people can pick it up and uh, the highlights for you about in the beginning yeah 
It came about where I was approached by Aztec Records and their A&R person, would I release the track with them? Um, their A&R person was involved, was one of the people I collaborated with. Um, she's part of a, a duo called Disco Damage. Brilliant. So we met up, we did the track, and then, yeah, they approached me to do it. We got some remixes for it, and this is the EP. really really happy with it and especially happy you know it's been picked up brilliantly by you know some independent radio stations here in Ireland and just the Irish support for it has been great you know particularly in Limerick just the media have really picked up on it. Marie it's been lovely talking to you. Thank you. Best of luck with the, uh, the EP and the gigs and the album going forward. And thanks like very much. Say, thanks to Marie, thanks to the Glasshouse for having us and thank you for watching ilovelimerick.com. We'll see you next time.